Hello, and welcome to Sheet Leveler. I'm Lee, and I'm here to help you make Excel easier to use with our simple and easy to follow video tutorials. We'll examine the simplest and most expeditious options to learn how to compute the difference between two dates out of multiple possibilities. The date diff function is the most appropriate for performing this type of calculation. Let's quickly walk you through how it works. To begin, Select the cell in which you would like the result to be displayed. Enter the function date diff after typing the equal sign. Enter the appropriate data into the brackets in the correct order. Enter the start date followed by a comma and then the end date. We are not done yet. Add a comma and then Y which stands for years. To obtain the exact number of completed years between two selected dates, close the brackets and press enter. Voila, the answer is revealed. This function can be easily reused for our subsequent calculations. Click and drag the bottom right-hand corner of the cell with the formula down through all the rows you want the number of years calculated for. That's great! Excel has determined the number of years that have elapsed between the dates in each row. We still need to determine the number of months and days. Let's see how many months and days elapsed between the two dates. We'll use the same function, but with a few modifications. This is the minor alteration we need to implement in the formula. Click on the target cell again and follow the same steps. Type the equal sign, followed by date diff, then the start date, a comma, and the end date. This time, type them instead of ye to find the number of completed months. The result appears right in front of us, in the target cell, once we close the brackets. Calculating the precise number of months that have elapsed between two dates has never been easier or faster. What do you believe is included in the equation for determining the number of days finished? You're about to discover if your guess was correct. To begin, enter the equal sign, followed by date diff, start date, and end date, all separated by commas. To complete the formula, we'll add D for days, and then press Enter to close the brackets. Determining the number of days completed is just as straightforward as finding out the number of months or years completed. This method of calculation is universal and can be used to determine the difference between any two dates in a table of time data. If you found this tutorial helpful, why not show us some love and subscribe to our channel? Sheet Leveler has plenty of video tutorials to help you learn Excel like a boss in a snap. Join Sheet Leveler today and start your learning journey. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.